before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's the video, I will be talking about my beautiful MacBook Air because everyone has been asking me to film a review about it. So here it is. A disclaimer, I will give you my honest review. I will give you guys all the pros and cons about the laptop it is a great laptop however i wish i did know a little bit more about it before purchasing it but without further ado let's get on with the video before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up because it would really help me out and please subscribe if you are a new person watching this video because i'd love to hit 4,000 subs by my birthday which is the 31st of October so if you are a new person watch this video and you like the look of my channel it is free so please subscribe it would mean the world because honestly on the 19th birthday I really want to hit 4k subs because I have been wanting to hit this goal for absolutely ages now let's talk about this beauty here I have a MacBook Air I bought it in a gold colour and the colour is more of a coppery um, gold there's three colors space gray gray and and the gold and i bought the gold because every time i went into the apple shop literally i was glued to this laptop because the color is beautiful it is so light and thin as well which is actually crazy no weight on the laptop which is handy for putting in your handbag if you want to take on a holiday it hardly weighs a thing which is perfect for if you're going on holiday away at your friend's house your boyfriend's house whoever it is a perfect weight it is a 13 inch one and i got a 256 storage i did have an eight year old macbook pro and it was so slow like i was in need of an upgrade because the editing on it like just the loading up youtube and like the safari and just it was just the slowest laptop on the whole entire universe and it would overheat and literally the fan and the noise of the fan inside i was on edge every time fan was so loud so noisy and literally the sound of it scared me every time i used it so i upgraded the macbook air it's the cheapest on the app store it is a grand so you know it is a lot of money obviously still but i bought it as i needed an upgrade asap and it was the cheapest on the website and i needed a new one obviously i use it for editing and i have noticed how it isn't great for editing um it is okay for basic editing like adding a few like animations in however if you are a person you want to buy a macbook air and you do a lot of heavy editing a macbook pro will be perfect for you i will say the air is um, perfect for like schoolwork youtube videos but on the editing side i would say like it's okay for like um basic editing however if you are a person who's like into high tech editing and everything you need to get a pro comparing this to my old one i will say it is so fast it is so speedy and on my old one it was like it would take ages to load and i have no patience really so having a fast speedy macbook is perfect for a person if you don't have any patience because it literally loads everything up like that <laughs> but anyway i have a skin on mine i bought it off coconut lane and it is pinky blue purple marble one it is beautiful i bought it as i don't want any marks on it because the color of the laptop is gorgeous there we go and the apple like is a metallic goldy colour it isn't a light up apple anymore but i don't mind that really and there are two charging ports and like a headphone port as well and i'm surprised as like iphones don't have like a charging port it is handy as airpods are really pricey and i cannot afford airpods i wish it had an sd card for reader in it as my old one had one in and like i've had a look on the apple store to buy that plug-in one and it's 39 pounds so i'm like a bit shocked i will open it up and oh my god 
like the keyboard and the color inside you will be amazed like it's so pretty loads up automatically but the color is beautiful like and the keyboard lights up as well the, the keyboard is super pretty and like and it also says macbook air like in a goldy color as well and oh it's beautiful there we go oh high tune just loaded up won't be a minute a really cool feature on the keyboard is a touch id so if i lock it and then i lift it up and hold it down lock my laptop straight away which is really cool the speakers on here are super loud I like the speakers are amazing so like if you are a person who likes to watch a lot of shows this is perfect as the speakers are super loud and it is incredible i'll play a tune and i'll show you guys how incredible it is like it's crazy like it literally is so like literally the speakers in this laptop it's insane the sound quality that has gone into the laptop apple you and your speakers in the macbook air oh it is it's excellent here honestly excellent here fabulous as i said earlier i use a movie for editing it is okay for adding a few like clips together but like if you are like a hardcore editor and like you want to add like a load of like animations in sound effects then the pro is perfect and i did have an old pro and like it was awful for editing however if you compare the, the new air and the pros now um the video editing the macbook pros are able to handle it face timing is so good on the laptop as well the calls always come for through immediately which is really good like it is so speedy as well so safari oh i've, I've not even clicked it i haven't clicked it safari th there we go it, and if i click on the apple store it'll load it up straight away how fast is that hey everybody it's future alice here i just, just want to say that the macbook air is not good for like gaming so if you are wanting the macbook air for gaming i recommend having a look at the pro because i have watched quite a few reviews about the macbook air before purchasing this laptop and a lot of people have said how like they downloaded the sims for example and it did take up a lot of storage and whenever they used to play the game it would make the laptop really slow and the laptop would overheat and the fan inside was really loud like it was working super fast so if you ask someone who is, is wanting to use a laptop for gaming i recommend having a look at the macbook pro because the pro is perfect for high video editing gaming however the macbook air is just like used for simple editing like schoolwork and surfing the web so i recommend just having a look on the apple store and comparing them and yeah but the macbook air is perfect for for simple use really it isn't really much of a laptop for gaming that's what i will say because it can get really slow overall I will say it is an excellent laptop for like your basic like you know schoolwork using it for google or facetime if you can afford to buy a pro and you are like into your video editing 100 percent buy the pro it is a beauty though and like it's perfect for my editing on imovie like the storage is perfect for me as well and overall it is an amazing macbook for everyday use the color of it is gorgeous and i am obsessed with it like it is such a beautiful color here is the end of my video um overall the macbook air is amazing it isn't for like hardcore editing or anything but yeah so here it is it is beautiful and i will hopefully have this for five years or more i will take a lot of care of it as macbooks are so expensive these days and i did have a look at the pros and i was like oh my god the prices are ridiculous i really hope my video has helped you guys if it has make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below please also subscribe to my channel because i'd love to hit 4k subscribers it would really mean the world if you all could subscribe it is free 
But yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!